before we start today's video, let me talk to you guys about Throttle. You guys trying to win a $4,000 shopping spree for parts for your car? So all you gotta do, sign up for VIP for Throttle. I believe they you have like 10 days left. It probably got like 10 days left right now. Check out the link below. Throttle, it'll be down below. $4,000 is gonna be for a shopping spree on the huntquarters.com. Now that is a partnership between Throttle and TJ Hunt. And I know 100% there is uh, your official rules down here. I will give you guys the link and everything, but I have the official rules. So if you sign up for VIP, you're gonna get two entries. You can also do it through other ways. You guys can see everything down below and how to enter, but it's lit. Go sign up for VIP so you can win four grand. Cause uh, four thousand dollars. You could do a lot with four thousand dollars. Have you can you, have you guys ever processed that? You guys want four hundred horsepower to your car? You guys want a bigger turbo? That four grand's gonna get you there. Maybe not 400 horsepower, but you'll make some decent power with four grand. You can get wheels, you can get air ride, you can get a turbo, whatever part of your build or whatever you're shooting for, four, four grand's gonna help you out a lot. So do it. Slit. Four grand will help your boy out a lot if you won four grand for, uh, for his car. Four grand will go a long way. If you guys haven't gotten your slaps, definitely pick them up. Check out Tyler Cordura at BigCartel.com. You can get the Kylie Jenner slap and you can get the Cordura Nation slap. If you haven't, check out the link below. It's there. Don't tell me that slap isn't... It's definitely sick. What is up, Cordura Nation? And welcome to another exciting vlog. I know it's a little bit different scenery because I feel like my last couple videos have not been the greatest because I've just been pushing out content to push out content because I've been super busy with school, work, etc. But right now I'm editing this video and I really feel like we can amp it up a little bit. We're going to be working on the car today. I know we haven't done anything in a while. This thing, my rear diffuser right here or whatever rear valence of the car looks like sh um, Since I've gotten the car, it's been really faded. This thing is like nasty and faded and yeah i can paint it i've painted it before but like the parts under here there's tabs to like hold this and they're broken so and that's been broken since i've had the car and so that's been like really irritating me it's like a parachute so i'm just gonna yeet yeet cut that whole thing off and we're then gonna build i don't know if it's gonna be in this video i don't know how long this is gonna take me to cut off but after we cut this off, I'm gonna either build a rear diffuser. That's a lie. We know what we're doing. We're doing a chassis mount wing. Don't get confused. The car will go fast eventually. Just not yet. Not that expensive to make this go fast, but for me, I want all the supporting mods as well. So that means I'm gonna need brakes, I'm gonna need a cage, I'm gonna need a bunch of other sh that goes hand in hand with making it go fast. So it's not just about making the car go fast. <sighs> you guys know my weapon of choice is always the death wheel. So, uh, let's get this, uh, party started. I'm gonna leave my license plate bracket. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, but I need to cut around my license plate. I don't want that big ass thing still there, so I'll be back. all cut up. Now I can start designing or I can start cleaning all of these edges off. So, start cleaning some stuff. Probably gonna require me to get the Dremel and uh, Dremel a lot of this off. Some sandpaper. But yeah, so now this is completely off. I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna start sweeping. Other than that. Not bad. 
All right, so we got this little bumper valence rear diffuser, whatever the, whatever you want to call that thing, the rear little valence thing. We cut that thing straight off, and now we have all this extra room for activities down here. You see this, you boy? Look at it. Look at all this room. Yeah. But for now, we cut this thing clean off. And if you guys were wondering how to do it, that's that's how you gotta get a cutoff wheel and just yeet, yop it off. Really, um, I, I left, like I was saying, I left the license plate bracket, if you guys can see. The license plate bracket right here, I like cut a little bit inner and around it, so like I can still have my license plate. Yeah, super. Super hyped on that, as well as it looks pretty damn aggressive, if you ask me. Damn, girl, look at how aggressive that is. So dope. I'm super pumped on that. So after we cut the valence off, obviously the next thing I have to do is take off the bumper and I took a bunch of measurements. Now, I didn't record that because there was a lot of stuff going on. It kind of just started out with an idea as I'm um, joking around between me and my buddy, and then I was like, you know what? Let's do this. So I did all that off camera and boom, this is the picture. All right, so I know I didn't show you guys much yesterday. I finished the video, did a bunch of measurements yesterday. This is exactly my cutout. This is all my stuff. I talked to my buddy who does CNC for, for work and we're gonna get these mounts and these stands cut out. Obviously they're gonna be cleaned up and finished off when we render it in AutoCAD, but this is the measurements. So this is everything that we need height wise and width wise. Um, this is exactly how the mount's going to be. We're just going to clean it up and make it a little bit more pretty in AutoCAD and then this will be pretty much all the bolt locations and everything like that are set in stone where it needs to be. So, sick. As soon as we get that, there might be um, some future production of uh, chassis mounted wings. So, uh, I might be making some wings for you guys. So now, after we have gotten all of our measurements and everything, on the cardboard template. I have taken it to my buddy Brandon who is helping me out with this project. We put it in AutoCAD and then after we put it in AutoCAD we were able to CNC it out of metal. Now the first thing that we did was we did it out of sheet metal so that we can make sure that all of our points when transferred to metal is absolutely spot on. So I test fitted that, I put the metal on my car. Then we were able to cut out the actual sheet for the actual chassis mount brace for the car. So sick. I am way overexposed. Let's fix this real quick. Sick. For all of you guys following the snap, you guys already know what's up. But for those of you who don't, you guys are missing out. And you guys have known I've been on the quest for a chassis mounted wing. Now, me and my buddy Brandon, we've been doing just that. So, as you guys can see under here, from the last video, you guys know I cut off this rear part of my bumper. But this right here is just a mock up template, alright? But we have everything exact to the T in AutoCAD. I created a template out of cardboard, measured everything out, put it in AutoCAD. We measured it, had like mm, just a little bit of things that we needed to adjust, and that's what we found out from this little sheet metal template. But my guy Brandon, my buddy that's working with me on this project, he CNC'd out the full mount for the chassis mount wing. So this is the chassis mount for the wing. So our next step will be the stands and then mounting the wing to the stand. But it's, so it's a process. It's gonna be a little bit, but today, right now, what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go pick up that mount. We're probably gonna pull it off and see how it fits and have an actual sturdy mount on there, like a real mount that we could mount these stands onto. So, and the key is, with this wing, the idea is that we're gonna produce it to add more variety and add a sick wing into the Genesis community where you don't have to cut, well, I mean, other than that rear part of your bumper, you don't have to like make it look all funny you can have a rear diffuser and have it come out and be sick you guys get to have this dope chassis mount wing that your boy made over here and that's what uh that's what we're going for and brandon and i would like if we can get enough people and get enough orders we'd like to make these wings affordable now the key with that is we're gonna have to have a decent amount of people order them as well as we'd like to give one away as soon as we're done so you gotta just stay tuned for that and I'll let you guys know how to enter. I gotta get in this car, I gotta get down to Brandon's house and we're def we're gonna go pick up this wing, or the mount, right now. Alright boys, so I know it's late now, but I'm here at Brandon's house I'm gonna pick up the part, grab it, and we'll probably test fit it either tomorrow or the next day. Lit. The 
to go. Test fit uh, thing. All right, so as you guys can see right here, this was um, our template that we used, that we cut out of sheet metal to see if uh, our cardboard template was cool. And obviously, as you see right here, we were off, not really, we, we knew the bolts were oval, and we were gonna need to make some adjustments. And then uh, we were down like a sixteenth of an inch, so that's where that came in. And then, This is our actual piece now. Now this is not the final coating, you know, security. This is not the final coating of what they'll actually look like when they're done being painted and stuff like that. We just did that so it wouldn't rust for right now. Yeah. Okay. So we're actually gonna mock this up for the first time and hopefully this thing just goes right out. Guys, so I got the bumper back on and the mount on. Took a little bit of work. I needed to drill some of the holes just by literally a sixteenth of an inch. Again, just just a sliver off that made it hard for the bolts to go in easily. So I drilled it out, and obviously we'll move that in AutoCAD. I'm gonna keep it like this for my application because it fits on there perfectly. But for you guys, the the holes will be moved over so that it will fit perfectly. But this is what it looks like with the bumper on. Obviously, my little dongle light thing isn't plugged in it's just uh you know so that uh i can see what it looks like but uh, yeah that's what it looks like on the car and i'll pull off the bumper so you guys can see i literally just kind of really fast in this thing in. And there you go. That's what she looks like. I'm really stoked with the way that this thing looks, and this thing is like stupid sturdy bike. This thing isn't going anywhere. Yeah, I'm pulling that thing hard. But uh, yeah, so this is where we have three bolt holes right here for the side bracket. There's gonna be a little bracket that connects to um connects to the stands and the reason for that being is because um, we're going to build some slides so that you can have your wing bolted all the way in and then slide it back like four inches so that you can lift up your trunk, put shit in there, shut your trunk, slide it back. So it will be functional, sick, and it won't be on a hinge so it won't flop over. So if anything happens, the worst thing is that it will uh, just slide backwards. So this is a this is a huge process. I don't know if you guys can tell. Obviously, making a chassis mount wing isn't the easiest thing in the world, and nor is it the quickest thing in the world. But this is three iterations for us. On the fourth one, will be the perfect and final production. And then now we need to move to making the stands. And then once we make the stands and the brackets, then we can get the wing and mount the wing on. I still haven't decided like what wing I want to use. So the thing is, is we want to keep these chassis mount wings relatively affordable. Now that the hardest thing about that is we can fabricate these mounts and everything for fairly cheaply. Not saying that it's cheap, but like because Brandon works in a CNC shop, so they can we can get the metals at like wholesale price and you know make things affordable. The problem is the wing, the deck itself. Now I looked into trying to make my own decks, but it's gonna be ridiculously hard. We need to get them CNC with like a, a hot wire out of foam and then we can fiberglass them or carbon fiber which is gonna take a lot of time and that will all be done by hand. Granted, the wings will be done by hand and they would be sick, but you wouldn't get like, I don't know how great they would be. That's a trade-off. Now wings from like Battle Arrow, the 74 inch wing from Battle Arrow is really what I've been looking at, but they want 500 bucks for that deck. So if we make these wings with those Battle Arrow wings, it's gonna be pretty expensive because the deck itself is more than like half the cost. So you're looking at like an eight or nine hundred dollar wing and basically all your cost is on the on the deck itself. So we're trying to find other solutions. I know NRG has one for fairly cheap as well as um, Street Faction has some for like 300, 400 bucks, but they're 69 inches. So for all you wide body friendly guys out there, 
it's not really going to be as wide as the entire of the car. Whereas the people who aren't wide body can get the 69 inch wing and it would fit perfectly. So maybe we can do a cheaper option, two options where we do the 69 inch wing for the guys who aren't wide bodied and the 74 for the guys who are wide bodied and then, you know, you just pay a little bit more extra for the wider wing, I guess. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited. This is gonna be so sick. So instead of having the slits in your bumper that look super ugly, all you gotta do is cut off that rear piece like a lot of people do as it is on the bottom part of your bumper and then you can have like an underside chassis mount wing that comes up from underneath and swoops up and then you can build a rear diffuser on that and make it look sick so then your bumper still looks normal. But um, other than that, yeah, that's the progress for right now. So now that we have the brace and everything on the car, that's just the brace. Now I can actually film us putting into AutoCAD those wing stands and everything like that. But that's the next step. Of, right now I have the shape, not, not really the shape, but the width and height that they need to be. And then we can just kind of manipulate the shape from there on AutoCAD. So that's the next step. So if you guys are liking this, definitely, you know, let me know in the comments below. Tell me if you're with it. Tell me if you're not with it. Like, hey, whatever. And if you guys are wanting to get the wings. So this video is going to be consist of like three or four separate videos that I'm just going to compile into one because I feel like it would be better conveyed that way. And then we can continue moving with the chassis mount wing as, um, as we progress. Hopefully things start moving real fast because we really want to get this wing done. Because I have the mounts on my car right now and I don't have any stands. So the thing's going to be lit. If you guys like this video and you guys are hyped about the chassis mount wing and you guys are hyped to get a chassis mount wing or have the potential of winning a chassis mount wing, smash that like button, comment, tell me what you think, if you love it, if you hate it, if you don't. If this is your first time checking out the channel, go ahead subscribe. If you don't subscribe, subscribe and um, needless to say, like there's going to be a chassis mount wing sometime soon so get up with it. That's it. I mean, it, if you don't think it's sick, then I, I don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna do, whoop, click, click off the video. The video's over. Yeah. I need to get ready for work. <laughs>